everybody, it's time for another J9's Patio Chat Check-In. Uh, I am inside, it's quite wet outside, so I decided to record inside. And you can now see this beautiful picture above me here that my dad made for me. It's um, wood art, so basically it's wooden pieces put together. So I've been thinking about showing this off anyway. So there you go, Dad. Um, I don't think I was able to get it in any of the other uh, chats because I don't think I've quite done it this way before. Um, trying different angles with the new, now that I have the uh, iPad mini. And the other thing you get to see is the French and Italian in me where my hands are constantly moving. Um, ah, I touched my face. Anyway, um, that is something I do a lot and people that know me well will know that. So yeah, anyway, a little bit more relaxed this evening, sitting on the couch. Um, anyway, so I hope everyone had a good day. I had a great sleep last night. I slept a lot, but I'm really tired um, after my day. I just had a really busy day. So I'm gonna keep it short. Uh, ha, we'll see if that actually happens. Anyway, um, one birthday today, Miss Aslan in Cape Breton, that little sweetheart, is five today, which blows my mind. I can't believe that. Um, so I know that Aslan was having a, you know, a celebration as best she could. Uh, with her parents, uh, Danielle and Terry, and uh, her sister Kinsley. So, um, yeah, I hope she had a good birthday. And uh, I know it's uh, not what she would have had planned. Uh, she usually does something like goes out, uh, I believe horseback riding on her birthday. So of course she couldn't do that today. So hopefully she'll be able to do that before too long. So that's the birthday for today. Um, I also failed to mention a few things yesterday that I, I was remiss, so I really want to make sure I cover them off today. And one was a great chat I had on Saturday night with my friend Tara. And Tara lives in PEI, and uh, Tara and I met in Cuba. And I think I may have mentioned this before, but Tara and I met in Cuba when I went with my friend Cheryl, and she was there with her friend Michelle. And the four of us got along really well, had a good time. And then the next year, um, Tara and I went to Cuba on our own. Um, Cheryl and Michelle weren't able to go, so um, we decided to go ourselves, and we had a great time. And uh, we've stayed in touch ever since. We've I visited her a few times in PEI. She's been here. Um, and on Saturday night, I had some things, you know, it was just one of those nights, some things I wanted to get off my chest. So I really appreciate uh, having you, Tara, to listen and uh, take in all that stuff. Sometimes you just need to get things off your chest, so I really appreciated that. And yesterday, and I this would have been before the patio chat, I don't think I mentioned it. My friend Brenna helped me out with something and it really, uh, again, was just uh, trying to negotiate or not navigate something. And it, you know, sometimes, especially when you're not, you know, you're tired, um, things seem a lot more difficult than they might be. So thanks Brenna, I really appreciate that. So those are my shout outs. Um, yes. I, uh, today in my memories, actually my Facebook memories, I was uh, thinking about how much I miss seeing people and being out, as I know most of us do. And one of the things that came up, it, it, two things that came up in my Facebook memories that made me think about that. One was watching a hockey game at Niche, and uh, Niche is the bar that's in our building, um, in the Maritime Center. So it's a place that we may often go after work to have a drink. And uh, sometimes I would go there on the weekends to catch a, you know, a hockey game because I don't have um, TV. So if I wanted to watch a game, I would uh, often go to a sports bar. So I went to Niche this one day to watch a game and I ended up meeting uh, a couple of people from who were in town for work. Um, and they were Virginia and, oh my goodness, the other guy whose name is completely escaping me and I was just looking at the memory. We've stayed Facebook friends, but we don't chat a lot and we hadn't seen each other like a lot since, even though they had come to town a lot for work. But we had a nice conversation that day and just chatted, you know, like sitting next to each other chatting. And I really missed that, you know, just going out and meeting people. Um, the other thing that came up in my memories was a trip to Greece I took and that was 12 years ago. And I went with uh, my friends Kim and Anthony and my ex Ray and uh, the four of us went and we had a fantastic time. So uh, when I was uh, looking at that memory, you know, some of the pictures from our our trip were um, coming up because it was I had just gotten back. So I had posted I hadn't posted all the pictures. I had just started to post some. So anyway, it was um, anyway. 
it was just, you know, I, I can't wait to travel again and I can't wait to get out there again. I am really uh, happy that I do at least see a few people um, through my work um, when, I get, when I'm in the emergency center. So again, it was another busy day. Um, I don't think there's anything else I have to cover. Um, one other thing, actually, oh, one more thing I do want to mention. One of my friends on the weekend shared um, something that I think is really important for people to remember. Um, she was just talking about how um, she had kind of been pushing herself to get things done and uh, had a conversation with a friend where she felt she had permission to slow down. And um, I think that was really helpful for her. So I wanted to share that because I think, um, I know I feel this sometimes. I see how everyone else is dealing with being at home all the time. And, and again, I've mentioned that I occasionally through my rotation, I, I do uh, get to leave and go into the office. However, um, just being in because of COVID-19, I'm talking about that more broadly, um, how people are dealing with it. And you know, some people are, um, you know, doing all this meal prep, getting all these things done in their home, they're um, really active, and then others not so much. And so I think it's good to remind yourself that everybody handles things differently and gets things done differently. So don't be too hard on yourself if you know, you're not one of the people that's getting all the meal prep done and you know painting your place. I I'm certainly not. <laughs> Today my big success was that I actually packed lunch and dinner for being um, in the emergency center because often I'm there and today I was at supper time and I often don't plan that well but today I did so I was happy and I planned my snacks a bit better so I felt really good about that. Um, you know what? Tick off the small successes. So just a note to everybody that uh, to be really kind to yourself and to make sure that you do what works for you. Um, it is really so easy to get caught up in what others are doing um, but it's really best to just focus on what works for you and how you're feeling in the moment. Um, and I did also share today a beautiful song that my friend Tim wrote um, after the uh, Nova Scotia shootings. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. I posted it onto my Facebook. Um, and so if I, if you can't, if you don't see it on my Facebook, uh, I will I think I would have also shared it on Instagram. Maybe I didn't, but anyway, I'll share it in a few places. And if you don't see it and you're looking for it, I'll let me know and I'll, I'll direct you, guide you to it. But it's a beautiful song he did with a beautiful video. Uh, just, um, you know, just to be talking about uh, being from Nova Scotia and, you know, the impact. So I, I just thought it was a really beautiful song. So thanks again, Tim, for sharing that with uh, everyone and taking the time to write it and Put together the video i thought it was very beautiful so thank you again um so take good care of yourselves take good care of each other and i will see you tomorrow bye